Today I will show you how to add a glow effect to some elements in your photos easily. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Neymanya and welcome to another really fun episode. You already know what we will do today, so let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Alright guys, as you can see we are here in Photoshop and this is the photo that we will use today to add those butterflies and make them glow. So before we start adding the butterflies, I want to just uh, quickly break through what I already did until that. So as you can see, I have a model, I have a shadow and I have a background. And the background is just a 3D uh, render. I made this in Cinema 4D really easily. So as you can see right here, I have this uh, wireframe just of certain elements that I made here. And let me actually show you this in Cinema 4D. As you can see, this is our background made here in Cinema 4D. If I unzoom it, you can see that this is pretty simple and easy scene. I have basically one box that represents the basement. I have three walls, one ceiling, one floor, and just a few elements inside like this locker, cardboard box, few pipes on the wall, and few flying papers. So really simple and easy scene to be created. Render it out and later use it for a background forever, for whatever you want. And because you already know that I don't show this kind of stuff in my channel in case you want to learn how to model anything this kind of scenes or whatever you want and later render it out and use it in your photo manipulations you can check some awesome tutorials at skillshare and actually skillshare is a sponsor for today's episode so because of that they are giving you two months completely free premium account there so that means that you can go and gain access to all the content on the website all you need to do is to follow the link down there in the description and just gain two months completely free. In case you don't know, Skillshare is a huge online learning community with more than 25,000 classes in practically anything that you can think of, like 3D, like Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects, photography, videography, design overall, maybe marketing, some completely different niche like cooking or maybe some sports, running, etc. So basically whatever you can think of, I'm sure they have it and uh, they're pretty affordable. The annual plan is less than $10 per month. So guys, go there, follow the link down there in the description, gain those two months completely free. After those two months, if you like it, you can continue with the subscription. If not, you can just cancel it. No questions asked, no problem at all. So if you want to learn this kind of stuff, you have two months completely free, go check it out and enjoy the content there. All right, now let's go back into Photoshop and let's continue with the tutorial. Okay, now that you know how I made this background, let me show you a few other steps. So first, the model. I took a photo of a model. This is my friend that you already know from a lot of my previous photos, Kraka. So he was uh, here in my studio and the setup was really simple. I have just one light that is illuminating his face on that side. And I have this to catch the shadow. And uh, what's really important because I will add those butterflies, I added this small RGB LED light to illuminate his gun and uh, hand a little bit of the face and the uh, coat here too because it's much easier to have the light in the scene that will represent the light from the butterflies in this case than to draw those kind of light later so this is really cool and this is the light that I already use for this I love this light I have uh, this one and another brand so I already did a tutorial actually review for those lights you can check it out on my channel in case you're interested to purchase something uh, for yourself but this is really really cool and awesome way to add some colored light to your scene so now that you already know this part I extracted this guy out of the background so to do that you can use a pen tool or whatever you want there are plenty of ways how to do it in Photoshop in case you don't know how to do it you can follow my link right here and learn how to select anything in Photoshop later extract it All right let's go back to our scene and uh, let's bring our model here so I already have that shadow from uh, from right here as you can see so let me show you how I put it on a wall really easily this is shadow I have several layers here so basically this is the part that I cut out from here. I just cut it out, paste it right here and made it a little bit brighter just to, to see better the shadow, etc. And then I created new empty layer and I just draw on that layer with, let me show, just with the gray color. I just follow the silhouette that is on, on this part of, uh, I don't know the name for this. Okay, for this shadow catcher, okay? And uh, then I just use hue and saturation adjustment layer to 
just adjust the color a little bit and the brightness you can see just to match the shadow down below and that's it so this is my shadow and this is the scene ready for adding those butterflies so now is the time to add those butterflies and to show how it's really easy and simple to add a glow to them you can add whatever you want but it's really simple and easy and it's so effective so let's do it okay guys for this i will use this png file of the butterflies in case you want to download this png file you can follow the link down there in the description and download it and put it in your scene take a photo of yourself and just experiment and add those butterflies to your photos and add that glow that i will show you now how to do it so first i will just take this guy right here with a lasso tool copy it Control or command c and bring back here and paste it okay this is it because it's too big I will make it smaller but before that I want to convert it to smart object just to uh, preserve the quality of the layer if I make it smaller and then want to bring it a little bit bigger etc so smart objects it's really cool for that and also I will use the smart object later for smart smart filters you will see so now I will press ctrl or command T make the butterfly smaller rotate a bit and put it put it somewhere here so maybe something like this let's zoom this a little bit and I will press ok in case the butterfly is too big or too small I can always make it back bigger without losing quality that's the smart objects are really good for okay so I will put it right here this is our butterfly it will not be right there but somewhere here cool be a bit 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 smaller like that okay and now the fun begins first I want to make a group so I can go right here or press ctrl or command G put a butterfly inside the group and name this butterfly number one because I will have several of them okay now I will create new hue and saturation adjustment layer clip it to affect only the butterfly this is B for butterfly okay and now I will colorize this guy to be blue so I just need to check this colorize option right here choose the blue color it's already there that's cool and just add a saturation so this is awesome just to match this kind of a blue tone so this is really cool and now I need to add some layers to add a glow to it so there are a few ways how you can do this I will show you the way that I like to do how I like to add the glows to my images so I will just create a new layer put it in a linear dodge blending mode and use first really bright color the same tone of a blue similar tone of blue but really saturated and a little bit brighter like this okay then I will use a brush really soft one 0% hardness and a little bit let's just switch to brush size a little bit bigger like that and maybe 10% opacity here and just paint just paint a few times you can see on the butterflies just to make make it glow maybe a little bit smaller and just paint inside and this is the first step it's already glowing all right so now I'll create another layer again linear dodge blending mode now I will choose a little bit darker color right then a bigger brush like this and start painting it again and I'm choosing darker color because uh, when the light is going off from the source is getting a little bit less intense so darker basically and this is how I like to do it okay and then I will create another layer linear dodge blending mode and choose even darker version like this and this is too big let's bring it back down like this okay and I will just go let's zoom this and this is really cool so maybe I can go and play with more layers if I want you can use however how much how how many layers uh, you need because many layers as you need because it's always better to do this in a few separate layers than to do effect in one layer it will not be good at all if you do everything in one layer it will make a big mess nothing nothing really good so I will use again brighter color and try to make this a little bit brighter like this and this is basically our first glowing butterfly if something is too big for you you can always go and maybe make the layers dark uh, smaller by selecting them press ctrl or command t and that's it so as you can see you can choose the radius of the light the spread of the light 
really really cool so i will leave it like that and this is our first glowing butterfly i really like it and another thing that you can do actually i will leave it like this for now so i will add few more butterflies so i will go back here i will take this one again copy it go outside this outside this all right paste it convert it into smart object and right click Control command t right click flip horizontal and i will put it again somewhere here maybe right there like this okay and i will repeat exactly the same steps so i will go and press and hold alt or option key and take this duplicate it hue and adjust, uh, hue saturation adjustment layer clip it to affect only the butterfly this is b number two okay and then I will put this into group, select both of them, control or command G to make a group. This is butterfly number two, all right? And I will repeat all the same steps. I will now fast forward this because it's exactly the same procedure that I did with the first butterfly. So in case you don't, if you miss something or you're not sure how to do it, just rewind the video and watch the first butterfly. It's completely the same. Ready guys, so we have two butterflies. Let me just collapse the groups and let me show you before and after. It's really nice and interesting scene, All right? And now I will add few more. So I will go back here, choose this one, Control or Command C, go back to the scene, Control or Command V. This is B number three, butterfly number three. I will put it in a group, Control or Command G and rename it butterfly number three. And again, I will do exactly the same steps. So I will copy this adjustment layer, colorize it. I will put this, convert it in a smart object, butterfly. And now I will show you something before I continue with uh, adding gloss. So I will put a butterfly somewhere here out of the scene, all right? But I want to blur it because as you notice, the papers are more out of focus because they are closer uh, to the camera so butterfly is even closer to the camera so i will make the butterfly blurry too so i will go to filter blur gaussian blur and what's really cool about this smart object is that for example i want to blur it like this and now oh uh, it's still too much i don't need to undo it and apply the effect again i just go here to smart filter double click and just reduce the effect as much as i want so this is pretty cool maybe 11 right and now i will apply again the same glow effect new layer linear dodge blinding mode etc so again exactly the same steps that i did before so i will fast forward this again all right so we have three butterflies in the scene let's add a few more now i will definitely fast forward all the process because it's completely the same i will just add butterflies i will go back right here and copy this guy, paste it back right here and completely the same procedure. Just enjoy, watch this uh, fast forward part and when you're practice, practicing, just watch the first part again when I added layers step by step, right? Let's do it. Alright guys, now I will add another more butterfly to the scene and basically we are done and then I will show you how to color grade everything and finalize the image. But let me know down there in the comment section below what do you think about this glowing technique, do you find it useful, do you like it, etc. If you don't like it, tell me why. So I just want to hear your opinion about this one. Okay, so I will go back to another butterfly, the first one, and just fast forward everything again. Alright guys, so that's it. I have six butterflies, as you can see, from one to six. This is before, this is after. I really love it. It's adding the the mood and the mystery, the mystery to the scene, dynamic, dramatic, everything. It's adding everything to the scene. Of course, uh, you can add different elements. It doesn't need to be butterflies, but for me, it was like this guy. It's like uh, maybe some killer or not. I don't know. He's uh, in some crime scene or 
I don't know, whatever, but there are some mystical butterflies appearing all around, they're glowing and it's really strange scene. All right, the point of this tutorial is actually me showing you how to add this glow effect. Right, now that we are done with this, I want to merge everything together into one new layer by pressing Shift, Control, Alt, or Shift, Command, Option, E on a Mac, right? And now I will go to Camera Raw to do some final color grading. So for that, I'll go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, and wait for a few seconds for Photoshop to open it like this. And what I like to do here, I want to add a little bit more contrast. I want to open the shadows just a bit, but remove the blacks. And here I want to add clarity. Actually, I want to reduce the clarity to add even more glow here, but I just want to add some textures back, all right? And also I want to go to FX tab and add a little bit of vignette because I want this scene to be really dark. That's cool. And also here to split toning, I want to add some kind of a bluish tint in the highlights, as you can see, even more, but I will add a little bit more just to see the proper color, maybe like, like this, and then reduce it. And maybe some reddish orangey in the shadows, again, just a little bit, and in darker parts of the shadows. So this is cool. Okay, I like it, something like this. And also I can go here to a calibration tab and move the blues towards the cyan a little bit so a little bit like like this why not i like it and we can again sharpen it here if we want i just want a little bit by holding alt or option key you can see what's what what is white it will be going to be sharpened you can choose the radius i want really small for this one mount a little bit more like that and that's basically basically let me see you can do radial filter and just brighten this guy's face like this i like to feather it and what i like to do here i like to open the shadows exposure it's okay plus 0.1 and that's it i don't want to do much here i just want to open up this part see before and after i just I'm just opening his face a little bit go back here and i'll press okay and that's practically practically it of course you can play even more with this I like to go and use Nicolor FX Pro and uh, add a few other things there like detail extractor and uh, add some details to pop out in certain areas, but that's optional. I don't know if you have that filter. If you don't have, try to find it out. It's really, find out and download it. It's really, really good one. Here on the screen, you can see my final version of this photo manipulation. I just spent a little bit more time tweaking some colors, but it's practically really similar to the version that we finished today. Right, guys, so that's it for today's episode. I really hope that you like it and that you learn a lot of interesting tips, tricks, and techniques from this one. The point of today's tutorial is me showing you how to add this really cool and awesome glowing effect to certain elements in your images. In case you want to use the same butterflies that I did today, just go down there in the description, download the PNG file and enjoy using them. But you can use whichever element that you want, just apply this glowing effect and make your images even more cool and awesome. Also guys, don't forget to check out the first link down there in the description, go to Skillshare, gain two months completely free and enjoy their content there unlimited access and uh, you have two months to gain some new skills to learn some new things so take this opportunity learn 3d or whatever you want also guys if you want to ask me anything about this episode you can put a question down there in the comment section below i will be glad to answer it and if you want to help me to make this channel even bigger and better you can do that by visiting my patreon page you can check out the link down there in the description and also you will get some things in return like my psd file from this episode on and from every other episode in the past and in the future right guys if you like this content if you appreciate this episode just press the like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe in case you're not already and also ring the bell to get notified about all the future episodes have fun experiment and see you in my next fun episode bye bye